Okay, so OnePlus just released Oxygen OS 14 Open Beta 2 for OnePlus 11, which brings some new add-ons on OnePlus 11. And today in this video, we'll talk about every change what OnePlus have done with Oxygen OS 14 Open Beta 2. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into the video. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 11. If I show you the software information first by going to about section, you can see Oxygen OS 14 beta version and now the version is .81. Previously it was I think .80. Going to Android version, we still get 5th August 2023 security patch and the update size was around 250 MB over beta 1. Now let's talk about the benchmark results first and we'll compare it with the previous build which was beta 1. So these are the results what we got using Geek bench application wherein single core have scored 2008 and multi core scores are 5306 on the previous build if you see the scores that time single core scores were 2020 and multi core scores were 5334 so slight lower benchmark results to be seen here if we talk about cpu throttling we performed the same test of 100 thread up to 30 minutes and this time i did notice bit of throttling issues on oneplus 11 and the maximum cpu have throttled only up to 64 percent in high performance mode and guys now before moving ahead if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel now let me show you the change logs of this latest build as i told you guys it's an update of approximate 250 mb and if you see the change logs these are the change logs which are related to security and privacy performance optimization then aquamorphic design and at last they also have added the carbon tracking so most of the features we have covered in our beta 1 video i'll leave that video in the description below make sure to watch that video before watching beta 2 video so one of the new add-on what we noticed after installing beta 2 and it's kind of similar to dynamic island what we see on apple products let me show you how does it work so right now it works with few applications so for example here i have clock application application if i set a timer you'll see real time update in the status bar so as you can see i have closed the application i mean it is still running in the background but here you can see a small capsule which shows you the real time information if i long press on it you will see another pop-up with more details so this is one add-on and it also works with screen recording so for example here you can see if i tap on screen recording we have a capsule in the status bar which shows us the real-time update from the application. You can tap on it. This will expand the capsule acting similarly how Dynamic Island acts. And if you stop the video, you will get a new tab of sharing where you can share that same screen recording. So this is one change which we have seen on Oxygen OS 14. It works with clock application. In my more testing, I'll keep you guys posted whether it works similar way with the applications like Zomato or not. That thing will be more useful. And if you guys have watched my previous video, then with beta 1, OnePlus had removed this file doc which was present in closed beta updates but later it was removed. But beta 2 again brings back this file doc and another tab called recent files. So from here you can access all the recent file. We have two options. One is images and the second one is documents. So everything can be accessed directly from the smart sidebar. And you can anytime select multiple files and send it to your loved ones or save it in other location. You just have to drag and drop and you're good to go. Later the gallery application also got few upgrades. For example, OnePlus claims that they have added auto pixelate 2.0 but I personally did not notice any kind of changes when I compared it with the previous one. UI have been revamped. Now towards the bottom side you get to see all these things like days, months, years. And as I said, we have the auto pixelate version 2.0 which automatically pixelates the sensitive information such as card details, contact number to maintain the privacy. Like when you're sharing any screenshot. After that talking about the camera application, so I'm not sure about it but I have some screenshots. Other than that I did not notice any kind of changes. So initially when I opened the camera, I got to see this pop up but I think this was already there. I might have deleted the camera app data. So that's the reason this thing popped up but I'm not sure about it. So if you guys are aware then do let me know in the comment section below. And how many of you guys think that OnePlus is trying to copy things from iOS because in past they added this search option which we have seen on Apple smartphones and now we have this capsule which kinds of look similar to Dynamic Island. So let me know your thoughts about such add-ons on OnePlus smartphones. And if you're new to Oxygen OS 14, so you'll also find few new ringtones going to sounds and vibration. And here we have Aquamorphic theme, which consists of few ringtones related to peace of mind, beauty of nature. Overall, I did notice some improvements in the sound output, which is now more louder and clear. Also, the app launching speed have been improved with this beta 2 update. And you'll also notice improvements in the animations too. So guys, these were all the changes. What you guys gonna see with beta 2 i'll soon be dropping a full review if you have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video